This video will introduce you to the OMAP technique known as the ischial tuberosity spread, or the IT spread. This is used to treat forward cyclical torsions, it releases the pelvic myofascia, uh, myofascia, and it also is used to treat cystitis, constipation, hemorrhoids, proctitis, and a few other things. Uh, the main one is going to be forward cyclical torsion treatments and constipation treatments. Now this treatment is going to require you to be very comfortable with your patient, uh, there's going to be a certain level of trust and understanding between your patient because you will be trying to find the ischial tuberosities, which are essentially the bones that you sit on. These bones can be, these bone processes rather, can be found in the gluteal folds, which is the fold essentially between the leg and the buttock. Now there's a, a crease right there, and in that crease, if you push out, you will feel inside that crease on both sides the ischial tuberosities or a point with your hand. I'm showing you from this angle because it'll be easier to see the spread. However, typically when you do this technique, you want to have the patient scoop back to the end of the table so you can sit at the edge of the table in a stool and uh, it'll be much easier for you. However, like I said, for demonstration purposes, I'll be standing. Now, to set up for this uh, procedure, for this technique, you want to have your patient put their knees together, lift their legs up, and then spread their legs. Now, I'm going to come in from behind here and put my arms so that my forearms, I'll show you from the front side, are going to be on the patient's legs, and my hands will be on the ischial tuberosities. So I'll show you now from this angle. I don't know if you can see, but like so. Now I'll have the patient's legs up, and I'll be spreading on those ischial tuberosities, spreading apart there. I feel these bones, and I'm going to spread apart. These are the bones he sits on. And I have the patient's legs against my forearms, spreading them apart. The patient keeps their knees together. And as I spread apart here, the patient's going to cough three times. <coughs> and each time, I'm taking up slack with both the legs and my forearms and the ischial tuberosities spreading them. Now what I'm trying to do, patient can relax, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gap the sacroiliac joint. And when the patient coughs, it increases the pressure against the urogenital diaphragm, and this helps this in conjunction with my hand spreading and the torsion presented by my forearm pushing the legs apart all help uh, work in conjunction to gap that sacroiliac joint. And this is the ischial tuberosity spread.